Problem 17 is our second Q factor problem. And so here we've been given the Q factor. Our stand has a Q factor of 1.25. And we know how many trees there are in the 12 inch DBH class. What we wanna know is how many trees there are in the 13 inch DBH class. And so to do this problem, let's use you know, our, our definition of Q. Q equals N sub I over N sub I plus one, where I is the I size class, I plus one is the next largest size class. Um, so in this case, N sub I will be our 12 inch size class, and N sub I plus one is gonna be our 13 inch size class. And so what we know already is that there are 120 trees in the 12 inch size class. We don't know how many trees are in the 13 inch size class. That's what we want to know. And we know that Q, that equals Q, that's already over here, equals 1.25. So as I go to solve this problem, um, I can simply reorganize this algebraically. Um, and so let's go Q equals N sub I over N sub I plus one. And I'm gonna solve this for N sub I plus one, right? Because that's what I'm trying to determine right here. That's the number I need. And so I'm gonna multiply both sides of the equation by this. And so I get N sub I plus one times Q equals N sub I. And then I'm going to take this equation, again, I'm trying to solve for this factor, so I'm going to divide both sides by Q. So I get, so I get now N sub I plus one equals N sub I divided by Q. And so when I go to plug all this in, I'm using this equation, N sub I 120, Q, 1.25, that equals 96 trees per acre in the 13 inch size class. That's my answer. And so again, with a stand characterized by a Q factor, a stand that has a reverse shade diameter distribution, you always have more small trees and fewer big trees. So I can check that pretty straightforward. So my smaller trees here are my 12 inch trees. I have 120 of them. My larger trees, my 13 inch trees, I only have 96. That's a lesser number of trees because again, our reverse J shape curve is gonna look like this where you get fewer and fewer bigger trees as you go this way. So that checks out, that makes sense. That's a good way to make sure I did my math correct.